Okay, how do we measure frequency on a CRO? Well, what we've got here is we've got a signal generator. And the signal generator is connected to a loudspeaker. And the output of the signal generator is also connected to the cathode ray oscilloscope. And the cathode ray oscilloscope will give us a picture of that frequency on the screen. And using the wavelength of the wave, that's the distance, and the time then for one wave, we can work out the period for one wave, and from the period we can work out the frequency. Okay, how do we do it? Okay, we're producing a sound. Using a signal generator, we can change the frequency of the sound. on the screen and we're going to set it so we can actually count the number of waves on that screen there. Okay. So we've got a particular sound which has a particular frequency. First I just turn the sound off. So it's still the same sound and we can actually measure the distance between the wave crests. And if I count the number of centimetres between my wave crests, one, two, three, four centimetres. Four centimetres is the wavelength of one wave, and the time for one wave can be read from the time base setting on the CRO. Now the time base setting is set at one millisecond per box, one millisecond per box, or one millisecond per centimetre, which means that our wave, which was four centimetres long, takes four milliseconds to be produced. That's the period of the wave is four milliseconds. So if the period of the wave is four milliseconds, and we already know an equation, the equation to work out frequency from the period, which we've met before, frequency equals 1 over the period, then if the period of our wave was 4 milliseconds, that's 0 0.004, then 1 divided by 0 0.004 is 250 hertz. 250 hertz, the wavelength, the frequency, of our sound signal. And that's how we measure frequency using a CRO. Time based reading. Multiply the time based reading by the number of divisions that make up one wave. That gives you the period. Frequency equals 1 over the period.